Hello Internet, here's a quick tip. You can change the game speed of Unity. Instead of just changing like the speed of individual objects, you can actually affect the entire game by changing a single value called the time scale inside of Unity. And so you can see the animation for this random block dude that I, that I imported from the asset store. Um, it's part of the warrior pack bundle one on the asset store, I'll link to it. Um, but this is just a basic animation and there's also physics to him. So if I raise it up, it will, it will fall. Um, but if we wanna change this and actually affect this, I've created this script called the change uh, game time script. Uh, so it's just a component that I've attached to my camera. Doesn't really matter. It doesn't have anything in it. Uh, what we want to do is do time.timescale and set that equal to something, uh, modified scale, for example. And so we can just expose this up here and do say float modified scale. Uh, we're going to want to make that public so we can just change it from the inspector. And then we're also probably going to want to make this a range. Uh, and I'm going to make it so we can set it between 0 0.1 and 2. Or, yeah, 2 should be fine. Uh, and th all this is going to do is give us a, a slider in Unity's uh, inspector instead of anything else. And so this way we'll be able to actually modify the scale in, in real time. So we should see a slider pop up here without having to restart our game or anything. And it's set to 0. Uh, and everything stopped. Um, because I didn't initialize the value, it, it got set to zero. Uh, and so let's set that to one and get, get our animation back. But uh, obviously it's working because uh, we, we stopped time. Um, but we can actually reduce this now down to like 0.1. And you'll see the animation is actually really slow now. Um, and this affects everything. This affects physics and uh, pretty much everything else. So now he's, he's falling super slow. Um, if we were to go a little bit higher now, and increase this up to say two, you can see the animation is much faster. And so this, if you wanna make something that's playing a little bit with time, this gives you a really nice way to do that because it will affect everything um, without you having to like worry about how to redo your animations or modify your animations. You can just change the time scale and Unity will should handle that for you for the most part. Uh, this is assuming that you're using time.gametime or delta time or, or those kind of things when you're actually calculating things in your game. If you're, if you're doing something else um, and avoiding the, the time component, um, you're not going to get this benefit. But, but I think that's it for the most part. This is just a really quick way to kind of modify time and get, get these kind of results. So hopefully you can use this in your game. And if you do, I'd love to see it. So leave a comment about that. Uh, and I'll see you in the next video. So until then, see you, internet.